Well, the answer to chess is back. And this time it's not a additional type of process to the answer to chess. This is now working on the answer to chess as we know it. With everything that we've worked on, putting it all together, breaking each section down as best as possible to get a clearer understanding as to where we get disadvantaged. Oh, okay, this is a strange game. Smaller piece taking or the bigger piece taking. I'm going to take with a smaller piece, advancing it up the board. And taking this pawn here. So this player is um, obviously not playing as proper as we would expect. But hey, I don't have any control over that. It's going to just drop the pawn, bait the pawn. So yeah, we're back with the answer to chess process. We've done loads of practice in between it, looks like they've left the game. Loads of practice in between finalizing the research of the answer to chess. And now basically we're just researching the fact that we've got all these concepts under our belt within the answer to chess. And we're just researching how we can best utilize that knowledge within the answer to chess. So we're not looking to add anything extra. We're just totally practicing what we have learned. So they definitely look like they've left the game. Um, bit of a shocker to start with, but hey, I have no control over what the opponent plays. So this is the introduction to the answer to chess, Reborn. Just having a look at the current state of our personal answer to chess concepts and ideas. Let's just bring this knight out and let's just take the pawn. Everything's simple. Let's just develop the bishop. Let's get this white square bishop out. Let's push on to the bishop with a smaller piece. Let's castle. It's a little bit of a scattergun approach at this moment in time. Now he's just going to bring his knight out. No, attacking our knights. Let's attack their bishop. So nice bit of attacking, but on paper, that's their bad bishop. If we do take, it's a good knight taking a bad bishop. But at this moment, I don't care. Take with a check on the king. And do we want to open up? Let's just bring the bishop back. So he's keeping that on there. Let's just bring the bishop here now, putting a two on one. So the rook's going to come and defend. The rook doesn't come and defend, so I think we're probably best taking with the queen actually, because if we take here, then his rook can come here. Knight could jump in there. So I think we'll take with the queen. Then at least the bishop's got the pawn when the rook comes to attack. Oh, he could attack the knight. Take the pawn. I think so, yeah. And then we can x-ray through to the king. And they're, they're attacking, so they're allowing us that position. So the king's going to come closer. Get the rooks behind the bishop on this. Oh, he's defending with the knight. Do we take or not? Trapping the bishop a bit. Oh, get the rooks up. Let's trap in the bishop a bit. He's got these annoying pawns that could potentially push it out. Let's get the rooks lined up and see what he's taking himself off of the x-ray now. So the knights may cause us some trouble. So do we take or do we keep the two bishops on the board? I'm not too fussed about having two bishops and all that type of situation. So I'm going to just attack the knight and take on the rook. Coming here to attack the pawn. No, it's not coming there to attack the pawn. Is there anything else that we can do? Just doubling the rooks up. Oh, there's an x ray through to their rook. Attacking the knight. 
Ooh, but you can get the pawn, can't you? If we go here... No, he's not going to do that. Let's just x-ray through to the rook. The higher piece. Can take himself offline, but we take the knight. So he's going to do something with the knight. No, he's not doing anything with the knight. Are we trapping x-ray take? He comes there. Rook's defending this. Attack this bishop. Try and get some more open file situation. It's going to double now. We can support with the pawn. She's going to try and get rid of the supporting pawn. We do have this replication pawn here. Okay, right. Um, that's on a dark square. So we could come up around the back. I'm always tempted to just go up and round the back, aren't I? Or do we simply just go for doubling? No, I don't think we need to stay there, do we? I'm going to just bring the rook around the back. So if we did attack this pawn, it drops. Do we move the king across? I'm going to move the king. I'm trying not to overextend myself. Does he get rid of my pawn somehow in some secret stealthy way? I'm going to bring the cock king across. And what's he planning to do? I'm going to attack the rook. Change my plan of coming around here, it didn't look too fruitful. Let's take. Take. Okay, right, what's this now? Do we need to move fast at all? King. Pawn, pawn majority. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's go here. Does he get down in time? Is my bishop trapped in any way? No, I could just sit here with the bishop. Or do I bring it into action here? No, I'm just bringing it back. Just play it safe. Play it safe. Don't need to get carried away. Just capture and capture. I've got plenty of time with these three pawns now. Am I allowing him to come down here and get my pawns at the back? No. Even if I'm in a winning position, there's no point giving them stuff, is there? Let's go. So that's highly elevated. So we could allow the bishop to be taken as well, but... Ah, he's got the pawn coming down. All right, let's just push this pawn. Get the queen. It's not going very far, really. It's getting more pawns. Push. 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 And the answer to chess working fine for us at this moment in time. Very smooth, focused targeting, supporting of the pieces and um, attacking appropriately as well. And really looking at what the opponent is potentially doing and trying to block that off as well. So really quite pleased with that.